What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy. We are looking at the Lego Forest Men Camouflage Outpost. Came out 1987 and 88. The one good thing with this set, you get a lot of minifigs. You get six with this set. You get one. That one right there with the black is very unique. I think he's worth over $30 by himself. Forest men are not cheap. For some reason, you pay well over $10 for each individual one. And you can see there's two different designs. And we've got the red design. We've got two more in the back. So here's our instruction manual. You do get some alternate build ideas. Do a quick look at just a random build part of it. So it's a really simple build but it's an effective build. So this whole thing's held together by this. We've got these two small base plates that it's built on, and you can see the hinge. First up, we're gonna move our forestman, and move our little treasure box. This opens up, and you just got like a, basically a mountain cave or something. And the idea is the trees part of the mountainside or cave. So if you have those big rock pieces, you can just add on to this on one side. I say one side because we have a secret door entrance here in the cave, castle cave. It's hard to say what they were going for with the rock formations. Okay, so you can see that hinge is right there. Got our one guy up here. Flip this around and we've got whole little scene. The simpler times, by all means, in the 80s. Really, really cool. So there's our guy watching over the back. Six minifigs, that's pretty good. So you can see we use these corner pieces to get that tree shape formation. And this is the first time larger trees and they use black because brown didn't exist back then. It, the only time you ever got brown was when you just got enough pieces to fill in the back of the horse. That's it. You couldn't build this until maybe the late 90s or early 2000s before brown started to become a thing where you could buy in bulk. So there's that. I'm not sure what fell. I heard something. Oh, his little plume. Oh, yes. Let's speak of these plumes. So, like I said, forest men are expensive. Those green hats, you're gonna, you will pay more than $3 a piece just for the hat. The yellow and the black plume, these little tiny things, three to five bucks a piece. I got this as a kid. So I was lucky to find all but, I think one plume. And I had that one just as a placeholder until I can dig through some more stuff because they always sink to the bottom of whatever tub that you have. And I'm still digging, trying to find it in a couple different totes. So here's our one set. This one isn't too bad priced. And then here's our other one. These are the two that I got as a kid. Forceman Outpost. This one's being redone. I think it's by the time this video comes out, it'll probably have already come out on June 15th as a gift with purchase. I think if you spend 160 bucks, they did remake those shields. Those shields are well over $10 a piece as well. So for some reason, these are just outlandishly priced pieces for the Forestmen related minifig accessories or the Forestmen themselves. But when you have both of them, you got a nice little scene. So when I get this other one, which I'm planning on getting, I'll have it over there and I'll just have a little scene set up. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a little forest set up. This one opens up as well in case you missed the last video. Yeah, so it opens up as well. You can open it halfway or all the way. But yeah, that's my little video for my classic castle. What was the set number again? 6066. Check it out. If you want to get into that with the new Forestman set, you're going to get some nostalgia going. So yeah, you got to kind of do a lot of 
different play stuff with it and make it a lot bigger than it looks. Maybe you want to add rock features back here and have this open. Who knows? Anyway, that's what I got for today. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.